Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad. Today we are at Disney's Yacht Club and we are going to be dining at the Ale and Compass for a breakfast reservation. So let's get going. We were initially uh, planning on taking the Skyliner here from our resort, which is the Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, but unfortunately, they must have had some sort of technical difficulty because the Skyliner was completely stripped off the line. Like not a single carriage was left on it or gondola. And uh, there was a lot of construction tape and a guy on a ladder uh, at the Caribbean Beach Hub. So something technical must have malfunctioned that needed fixing and that was down. So we had to drive here this morning, uh, which is not a problem. Just not quite sure what we're gonna do with our car afterwards, whether we can leave it here or whether we have to drive over to Epcot, that sort of thing. But we'll figure that out a little bit later. So we're coming in here to the Yacht Club. We have eaten in here once before. The Alien Compass is over here off to the left but uh, we can't check in quite yet so we're gonna sit here and enjoy the lobby a bit I've got this neat model of a ship here for you to take a look at I don't see a name on the ship though usually there's a name on one nope no name on that ship must not be a, a model of a real one and then have a giant globe here in the center. The southern unknown land. We have another boat or ship over here, but once again, it doesn't have a name on it, which tells me that it's not the model of a real ship. It is just a ship. This here is really, really neat. And they've got like a captain's wheel up there that I can see, but I just got a text that our dining reservation is ready. So we are not going to look at it. So they're taking us through the Yacht Club now. Or not Yacht Club, they're taking us through the Alien Compass. Looks like we're getting a big table today. So they've put us uh, here in this corner. It's not got as nice of a view as we had the last time that we were here, but I'll just do a quick pan around here so you can see the rest of the dining area here. We have eaten at the Ale and Compass one time before and it was for dinner and uh, we got the, I got the steak and Amy got uh, I think a pot pie. Uh, yes, this is our first time here for breakfast and I ordered the dark chocolate waffles comes with a side of either sausage or bacon, but she also offered me a fruit cup. That wasn't listed on the menu, but uh, it was an option that she, she gave to me. The fruit was a um, pineapple, like blackberry, blueberry, and strawberry. And I don't particularly enjoy blueberries, and I'm not a huge blackberry person. Um, so I just decided to pass on that and I went away with sausage. Well, I got the American breakfast, so it comes with two eggs, however you want them cooked. Um, bacon or sausage, I actually asked for one of each instead of two of bacon, two or sausage. And then a piece of toast and potatoes. And I think I could have gone potatoes or fruit, but I want like potatoes. So it's like, kind of a basic breakfast. Um, I almost got waffles, but I decided to get something different. So. And here is my food. <clears throat> this is the chocolate waffles. Of course, you can see the side of sausage. What we get is three waffles. Comes with whipped cream and little chocolate chunks on top. I can't even see the the chocolate waffle underneath all that, but it looks like we've got some berry compote there as well, right there. I'm excited to, to dig in. And over here we have 
have Amy's, um, which I forget what this is again. It's the American breakfast. Ah, uh, the American breakfast. So we've got some sausage, some bacon, some potatoes, some eggs, and some toast. Plus the sun-dried tomato there. Just had a quick bite, well, quick bite. I ate both of my sausages already, and uh, they were pretty good. I'm not like a huge sausage person. Definitely not a, a huge American sausage person. Um, I, I do like English sausages and Australian sausages and American sausages just don't compare to either one of those. But these were good. These were very, very good. Uh, I expect nothing less from Alien Compass. We've, like I said, been here before. Food is phenomenal. Haven't dived into those waffles yet though. Amy just got these little cute Tabascos here and um, they came in a, a little thing. <laughs> That's really cute. I like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, experience will be going home with me. <laughs> so how's the uh, first couple bites? Um, good. I, the potatoes are really good. There's some onions mixed in with them there, and some of them are more crispy than others, and um, bacon's good, sausage is good. I had a little bit of eggs, but I like Tabasco sauce on my eggs, so. Alright, I'm going to try these waffles now. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the, um, well first off two things, the, the berry compote and then secondly the whipped cream. Huge berry compote flavor there. Whipped cream is okay. Um, I think I'd honestly just prefer like chocolate waffles with the like, Hershey syrup drizzled all across the top or just chocolate waffles with like chocolate chips inside. Um, so, I mean, this is okay, but it's not quite what I was expecting. Yeah, same. He's like, I'm in a fancy restaurant, so I gotta have fancy food. Right? Is that what it is? But, um, no, they're good. They're good. It's not something that... You taste the chocolate? Um, so it's a dark chocolate waffle. Um... I mean, it's definitely a chocolate waffle. I can tell it's a chocolate waffle. But I can't really like, the, the little berry compote balls and the whipped cream is definitely the more overpowering flavor um, when I'm eating these. They're growing on me though. Each passing bite, they're growing on me. Well, I just finished up my meal and I couldn't eat it all. Of those three waffles, I just, I couldn't eat another bite. Uh, I almost finished. I came very, 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 very close to eating all of it. Um, in the end, I ended up scraping off all of that berry compote. Um, I'd pick them out with a fork. You can see the, the little things there. Amy thinks they're dried cherries, and that's probably why, because I am not a cherry person at all. Uh, I like cherry flavoring in like cherry Coke, <laughs> but <laughs> that is nothing <laughs> like actual cherries. Amy's giving me looks over here. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, the chocolate waffles were good, uh, but the feeling that I have in my stomach now, and I didn't even finish, is like I've had a little too many sweets. You know, like I've been, been eating out of the candy jar or have had one too many chocolate chip cookies or something like that. Uh, so, so factor that in, they're very, very good, but you may wanna share or like take one home, only eat two of them or that sort of thing. Um, so definitely, if you are planning on coming to this restaurant, maybe you know plan to go back to your hotel room to drop off some leftovers or like i said maybe plan to share because i can eat a lot i can eat a lot more than amy and i couldn't finish this um, and amy certainly couldn't finish um maybe we should have but how are you supposed to know you know i mean unless you try it which is why we're doing these videos honestly we're doing these videos so that you know and you can plan accordingly if you're planning on coming to Ale and Compass for breakfast. But once again, this place is really good. Like, we're, we're happy we came here. I think we'll probably try to come here for dinner again on another trip because we really like the dinner, the dinner here. Um, but this breakfast is really good too. We love the atmosphere in here. Um, the servers have all been great. So um, it's hard. Every time we come to Disney, we add another place. All right, go ahead. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely keep Ale and Compass probably on the rotation in Oh, we love it. Yeah. No doubt about it whatsoever. We love Ale and Compass and it is quickly become one of our favorite 
places to eat at Walt Disney World. We just discovered it on the last trip. I don't even remember what made us come to Alien Compass in the first place, but... I think it was because Ohana didn't reopen. Oh, that's exactly we it. We wanted something on our opening day. Yeah. That we it was, it was, yeah, it was because Ohana didn't reopen and we wanted another resort dining location because we felt like we haven't done a crazy ton of resort dining. So we found Alien Compass and we love it. It is, it, it, the, the food is always phenomenal, top notch. Definitely highly, highly recommend. And you can't beat this either. He just brought us this little happy anniversary thing. Because we're celebrating our anniversary. I'm not sure I can eat it. <laughs> but it's really, really cute. <laughs> I might take one bite. But I'm, I'm way too full. <laughs> that, that's what Amy's got left. So. I know. So I almost ordered the kids meal because I think it's one egg and then like one piece of sausage, but I just wasn't sure. And now that I'm eating this, I probably could have asked if I could have ordered a kid's meal. Some nights they let you, some nights they don't. Um, so if we come here again for breakfast, I'll probably be asking. Or this would have been perfect actually if we come again and have our kids with us because I just would have taken some we of this and yeah. shared with the kids. Here's a little bite of that thing, a little mud cake, is it a mud cake? A mousse. Mm. That is very rich chocolate. I definitely would not be able to eat it after chocolate waffles. Before you start your meal, on the app, they ask you if you're celebrating a birthday or an anniversary or something like that. Um, so if you are, just know that they will bring you one of these and please plan accordingly because it tastes good but I am just so full at the moment that this is way too sweet for me right now. We are back at our room here and I didn't have a chance to finish up there just because we had uh, run out of time we needed to get back real quick. Um, but I just wanted to give a final report on that, that uh, between breakfast and dinner, I prefer dinner at the Ale and Compass. Uh, breakfast was great, breakfast was definitely affordable, but I'm not a huge breakfast person, not a breakfast food item person. So dinner to me is the clear hands down winner at Ale and Compass. And if we have to go back, that's what I would prefer to do, would be to go for dinner. And um, that is it for our time at the Ale and Compass here today in the Yacht Club Resort at Walt Disney World. If you want to see more videos from our Walt Disney World vacation, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And we will see you again next time. Bye.